Hi everyone, Finn Bar here, Unisphere PM. Today I just wanted to talk to you about a new feature within our new release, Unisphere for Power Max 9.0 release. So it's called Storage Group Real Time Monitoring. So you do need to set this up, so let me just show you how to do that quickly. So you go into Settings and Performance and System Registrations. So you do need to be at the latest level of U-Code. And that's the release that's coming out in uh, April of 2018 and you need to go in here to configure it so in this particular example I've already set up the one I'm concerned about which is IRC01 and that how is how you configure you just simply add another if you wish it's gonna cancel out of that close that so traditionally we looked at 15 um, sorry five minute granularity um, but we've reduced this down to 30 seconds for um, a set number of KPIs and also up to five storage groups at a time and one array at a time so I'm just gonna show you the traditional route so this is non uh, real time and I'm going to select my storage groups this is the one I'm concerned about so I'm going to select my KPIs, I'm just going to go for response time and read response time. I'm just going to create that chart. So you can see here that the, it's the normal 5 minute granularity and you can see there was a major drop off in I.O. This is a development box so I was uh, leveraging Iometer to create this but uh, it gives you the, the expectation of a workload. So now I just wanted to show you so let me just label that the tab and I wanted to show you the new option delete that chart so this is real time so for this I will go into real time and the last hour and so if you notice here that it's only the IRCO 1SD the one that I previously had registered set up so I'm going to select this um, it's the only one that's available because it's the only one that I actually have set up and I'm going to select read response time and response time itself so you can see there's only seven metrics here and I'm going to draw this chart so here you can see you get actually a much more nuanced view because you're going at a, a further level of granularity than the previous five minutes so you can zoom in on this if you wish drill down you can see here that's on a minute per basis while previously it was in the five minute intervals so you're getting that every 30 seconds granularity so potentially if you were having a storage storage issue on a particular storage group and you wanted the ability to get more granular on it to see if it was actually a storage group or was a potential database problem you do have the ability with the 30 seconds to drill down more effectively and do further investigation so we vastly reduced it down from five minutes down to 30 seconds so i hope you found that useful and i hope you found the use case useful it's pretty much meant to be just a proactive troubleshooting tool if there are further improvements needed it needed on it we are more than willing to listen to customers and help them out further i hope you enjoyed that today and if you have any further questions please let me know